Welcome back fifth grade. Today's gonna be a very exciting day. We're using a little bit of clay, which is something we don't always get to do, so it's gonna be really fun. Today we're gonna be making Egyptian cartouches. An Egyptian cartouche has hieroglyphics, which is kind of like an ancient Egyptian language, but it uses a lot of pictures instead of letters. A couple things that you're gonna need. You're going to need two different packages of the Sculpit clay. This is the clay that we're gonna be using today. You're also going to need this needle. Notice that the needle can bend, but please don't bend it. Today it's gonna to be used to write our hieroglyphics. Please don't bend it because then they're gonna break and then we won't have any more to use. What you need to do first is find a pair of scissors. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open these packages. I'm taking the scissors and I'm not cutting into the clay, I'm cutting to the side, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little bit off so that I can get inside of my package. Please do this with both. So go ahead and open both packages. You should be able to see the lips of the package, and you might be able to Go ahead and tear your package away. If your package doesn't tear, you can use the scissors. Right. Once you get them out of the packages, you should have two small little white bricks. What we're gonna do now is take them and go ahead and smash them together. Use all your muscles. Once you have them smashed together, go ahead and start rolling them out. Using my hands, making it nice and flat. All right, at this point, you need to be very careful with your fingers. We're gonna go back to the scissors. We don't have a whole lot of cutting tools for the clay, so we're just gonna make do with what we have. We need to cut the shape of our cartouche. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna do some long lines on the side, and then maybe some short lines on the other sides. And this will get the trim off of the clay. So I'm gonna take it and kind of break it apart now, just like this. If yours ever starts to break like mine, it's a really easy fix. Just go ahead and kind of pinch it together. That should fix your issues. All right, I'm gonna make the sides a little bit more even and neat, just going back and forth, giving a little bit of a massage, and I'm going and making it a little bit neater. All right, so it's up to you what kind of shape you want it to have. I personally do not want it to be a rectangle, so I'm gonna go back in with my scissors, and I'm gonna cut those corners off all the sides. So I cut mine into more of this shape. This is the shape that I want. You will need some of the extra trimmings at this point. We are going to make a loop so that we can wear this on a necklace. We're gonna make hieroglyphic cartouche necklaces. So I'm taking that extra piece and I'm rolling it through my fingers. Now I won't need all of it. I just need enough to where I can make a loop on my pendant like this. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna give it a little bit of a pinch and I am done. As long as you can have, see a little hole, you are good, because that is where the yarn is gonna go through when we start wearing these. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and write my name on the back with the needle. So I'm gonna take it, I'm not pushing hard, and I'm gonna go ahead and write my last name on the back with the needle. All right, there it is. I know it's backwards because it's on video, but it says Boatfield because that's my name. But if you have your own special name, go ahead and put that on there. On the other side is where we're gonna do our hieroglyphics. So remember, hieroglyphics is kind of like the ancient Egyptian language. However, it uses a lot more symbols. So I'm gonna find the letter J because that is the uh, first letter of my first name, which is a snake. And I'm gonna go ahead and carve a snake in here. So I went ahead and did the snake because that is going to represent the first letter of my first name. And then I did the foot, which is the first letter of my last name, which represents B. So this is called my initials, but instead of English, we have it in hieroglyphics. At this point, our project is done for now. Next time we'll add some paint, but we need to let it dry overnight. The clay that we're using does not need an oven or heat to dry. It actually just dries by being around the air. So we're gonna let it dry overnight. Next time, we'll get to paint ours. So I painted mine gold and red because those are two of my favorite colors. So we're going to attach some string so that we can wear it around our necks. We're gonna make some bling bling, got some jewelry. Alrighty guys, I'm so excited to see what we're gonna come up with today. I'm excited to see your cartouches. Remember, you can always be creative. Just because I didn't do something with mine doesn't mean that you can't do something with yours. 
All right, let's get started.